I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Kay Michelle talks about the emotional roller coaster when it comes to ending relationships. Am I still fighting to know better? Who was I fighting? I ain't fighting nobody, honey. I do not do that, honey. You will not. You got to really piss me off. You will not see me fighting with no nobody. And nobody at all. Yesterday. Oh, that's cute. I am on her. Shopping. So, yesterday someone said something to me. Think about this. Think about this. So, God be trying to take people out your life, right? And sometimes, sometimes we don't want the people out of our life, right? So, what we do is we hold on to the people and we be expecting and waiting on the little bit of positivity or potential that this person might have for a friendship for a relationship for a business partner for everything so we hold on and if you're like me god literally has to slap you or punch you in your chest or like you in the face like because i'm always i know it's like for to be you know misjudged and things like that so i always pick the broken hearted i pick the people that are not the favorites but maybe the most talented or the ones that i feel like you know what i'm saying um need me or whatever so yesterday i was saying something to somebody and i was complaining about their bare minimum right and they quickly said to me you ain't this you ain't just like basically saying someone saying you ain't my mama or you ain't my woman or you ain't or whatever and the blow because i was i thought my place in this person's life was so greater than the shoes i actually feel to them and after they said that to me it's like i stopped it was like god like boom like girl i've been trying to tell you you know that's not a good person and and this is not you know the person you try to save with your love or understanding but saying that to make a long story short 2024 i do not want to be god's punching bag And I mean that to say, I do not want him to have to keep on slapping me in my face in order for me to allow people and things to be as they need to be and accept them for who they were and what it is. It ain't casting. He don't y'all be on him. He do nothing. So yesterday when that happened, right? When that happened, I didn't even fight the person. I said, I said, thank you. And I was just thinking today how I was applying it into life. Sometimes thank a mother for showing who they are. I thank a mother for letting you know how they truly feel about you. And, um, yeah let's just not do that in 2024 sometimes you do have to just leave people where they lay and nothing i'm telling you nothing in life you know people can do certain things and i be like blah blah whatever but sometimes i have to see the real like the real intent of a person and sometimes the intent of people in your life is so another one of the motherfuckers won't come back in it is to show you that don't cry it ain't no reason to cry you just 
Well, yeah, you could cry. I'm gonna stop telling people don't cry either. Cry if you need to cry. You know what I'm saying? Like hell fight if you need to fight. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. But um don't be hard headed. Don't be hard headed like me. You know? Like and the thing was, I wasn't it like stung a little bit, but it was the truth. And I couldn't even get mad at the truth and how you how you view me and how you see my position within your life. And when someone tell you the truth, don't get mad at their truth. If you can't accept their truth, then you don't accept that in your space. Right? So. Oh, please don't get huh? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry to hear about your grandmama. I'm sorry, love. Crying cleanses the soul. Yeah, a good cry. A good cry do you good. And I had the best cries when I got on makeup. So, um... Yeah, but this ain't a crying matter. This this is just like I finally needed a reason to not befriend this person. Like I just and I, I needed the harsh, the harsh one. So that person's chapter, no matter how much you say, oh, I ain't dealing with you no more. I ain't dealing with you no more. That person's chapter is really over in my life because I needed that harsh blow, you know. You get strength. Yes, you do. Hey. Yeah, you do cry better with makeup on, right? I do. That's why I, well, I ain't even got to cry and matter tonight, but my makeup do look good tonight. But we're going to go in here. Um, Y'all know I really don't do, like, a lot. I used to do hostings and, like, stuff every day. Um... I do like a lot of R and B. I do like R and B hosts and stuff like that because um, people act seem to act their age at those things, and um, yeah. So I just been getting ready to hit the road and sing for y'all because after that, this road is another road. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.